people say, well, you're helping women find their voices. And I fundamentally disagree with that because women don't need to find a voice. They have a voice. They need to feel empowered to use it. And people need to be encouraged to listen. Time to talk business, new development, and current affairs. This is After Five with Cuckoo Cat. Right here on allofmarvel.live. After Five with Cuckoo Cat. That With Ukugu Kaiti. It's me again, guys. It's Tuesday. Entrepreneurs in the building, entrepreneurs on the live streams. We see you. It's that time. It's that time again where we actually get together to address the elephant in the room. Hashtag, why is youth employment so high in this country, guys? Why? AKA, why, 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 why? <laughs> Welcome back, guys. Thank you for joining us and thank you for showing us live. Thank you very much for continuing the conversations. We see you guys still engaging us after the show. We try to answer everyone, but we actually encourage you guys to join our live show on our YouTube channel at, at I Love Melvo Space Live so that you can engage us with those questions and comments because sometimes you're sending them and the guest is already gone. It's like, okay, you know, it's getting a bit technical. Anyway, who? Don't forget to follow us on all our social media platforms at ilovemelville.live. That's Twitter, that's Facebook, and that's Instagram. Hashtag after five with Ukugu Kaiti. Today I have a guest for you, and I know somebody has been requesting to have this guy in the studio, and he's finally here. And I think if I could request a horn, <laughs> guys, I have horns on the show now. Hey, so I can just throw, play with them anyhow. Horns, please. Hordes, this show, what's going on? <laughs> and there he goes, there he goes. Guys, welcome our amazing guest, special guest. His name is Likau. He is the founder and owner of Drip, Drip Shoe. You guys are familiar with that brand. We have, you know, been trying to actually think when is the right time to have him in studio? When can we bring him in? And you guys have just been building the topic, building the conversation to a point where you made us realize that it's about time. It's about time that we got him in. And yes, we did. And thank you so much to him for honoring our invite. Mr. Lika, welcome to our show at hashtag, hashtag after five with Google Cards. <laughs> hey, hi, 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 everyone. Thanks very much for the invitation and um to the listeners and those who are watching live yeah yeah hi 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 oh man thank you for making time and without wasting any time you know this is the kind of show where we come we sit down like this have real yeah. conversations we try to you know push and promote the positive dialogue where we just trying to find out what is happening with the youth of this country you know we yeah. see a lot of platforms where our government is playing and people are being elevated it just seems like people are forgetting about the youth you know, um, and that's the reason youth unemployment is so high. And in this in this show, we always just asking that question to say, why, why, why? And in that journey, asking that question, we're also saying, while you're waiting for government, what are you doing? You know, mm -hmm. so you fall under there. What are you doing? You know, yeah, so yeah. please tell our viewers and guests, um, who's Likau? Uh, Likau Sihuana is a boy from Ivory Park, just um, outside of Tembisa, but in Midrand, you know, there's mm, always that thing mm, that Tembisa. One. Yeah. <laughs> so like, I'm in Midrand when you need to be. Yeah. I'm from Midrand when you need to be. And I'm from Tembisa when you want to be yeah. gangster. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I'm from Tembisa because I'm gangster like that. The whole time, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah so I, I was born in um, Limpopo, um, Mankweng Hospital, Ramamawolo. And um, two years later, my parents divorced and um, we were forced to move to Alexandra in 1990 and i was born in 1988 and moving to alexandra we stayed there from 1990 up until 1994 when we um, um we moved to ivory park uh, mm -hmm. in an informal settlement in ivory park so that is me man i'm just a, a township boy from ivory park um grew, that grew up in in, in poverty mm -hmm. you know like almost everyone that i know in my life mm -hmm. you know that is the reality of my upbringing so yeah um Today, the founder and, and, and CEO of Drip Footwear mm. and, and, and a, an active member in the, in the economy, you know. <laughs> in the economy space. Yeah, in the economy yes. space. Yeah, but yeah, yeah, man, I'm just a 32-year-old boy from Ivory Park. 
That's amazing, man. Just share with us. How did that come about? You know, now you just shared briefly where you're from yeah. and where you are coming from. There's no hope at this point, you know. Yeah. But then all of a sudden, here is like how he's a CEO, founder of Drip Shoe. How did that come about? Well, it's Foodway. Yeah. Ah, you know, um, I always say um, when I started sewing shoes back in 2003, you know, um, whenever I'm, I'm being asked, like, um, how was it? You know, were you seeing these moments? Uh, and I'm like, no, I, I wasn't. I was poor. I, I, mm. I just wanted to have shoes. Mm -hmm. It wasn't a genius idea for me to actually create shoes. Mm -hmm. I just wanted to be like like other kids, you know. I was worse than um, 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 my peers at that time because I grew up in an informal settlement. At least they were from um, um, formal areas. You know, they had mm. toilets, they had electricity. They're from the townships. Yeah, I, mm. I didn't. I was in a small an island. So creating the first shoe in 2003, I created the shoe because I didn't have any shoes to wear for a, a, a school function, you know, to raise funds for, you know, a, 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 our school. Mm. So that is what happened. So I was like, okay, fine. My green taught me how to sew. I have all these denim, uh, denim jeans that are torn. Let me just create something. Mm. And I, I actually went to school wearing denim from shoes to sporty, you know. And so you made the whole, the whole look. The whole look, you know, because I thought, okay, now I, I'm, I'm actually in high school, you know. People go to school wearing, you know, um, um, your Adidas, your Nikes, Levi. all these labels. Mm. Yeah, but I didn't have. So, mm. and they're going to be the center of attention mm. on that day. How can I also be the center of attention? So mm. I had to create my own look and mm. people were crazy, you know. <laughs> I got the attention that I needed, you know. <laughs> and and it, that sparked something in me. It, actually, teachers actually like this, you know. Other students mm. actually like this, you know. Mm. They were bringing in their torn jeans as well. So I was mm. starting to design, you know, uh, being creative on their jeans as well. Mm. So that is that was my whole high school career of me being creative, me, you know, wanting to study at least of London International School of Fashion, you know, mm. me following David Clales of, of this world. Mm. So that was me and growing up and, and wanting to be in fashion more than anything. So I had um a like that part of my life actually reminded me that I wasn't that poor because I was creative, you know. Mm. So I created my own uh, uh, um, business uh, in, in high school. I was suing for teachers. I was suing for the community as well. Mm. And yeah, I, ha I had fun. And But um, the, the, the sad part came when I failed my metric. You know, mm. now I, I I failed my metric because I, 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 I was, yeah, I'm mm. busy. You know, <laughs> life is just happening. Mm. And I, that was a wake up call. And I went back in 2008 because I matriculated in 2007, and then I went back to write the two subjects, being mathematics and computer studies. So I'm 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 not you know that one boy who was a genius in class. No, I'm just a normal mm. kid. I failed. I went mm. back. I rewrote. I passed. Mm. And then now I, I now belonged into you either go to school or you you, you go and look for a job. I was now mm. one of those you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And 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 my other peers were now a year ahead of me. They were now mm. at UJ, they were now at VETS, you know, mm. the pressure of life starting there. So yeah, I, I, yeah, that is me and being a normal kid after, after high school, trying to, you know, look for a job, trying to go into business because there are no mm. jobs for someone who only has metric, you know? Mm. And yeah, I, I started businesses, you know, I, I was like, okay, fashion is not going to sustain me for a very long time. Luckily, I I, I went to Rama Bible Church. Mm. So at Rama Bible Church, um, I, I met quite a few people, you know, um, that were like, okay, we can, we can help you out. But yeah, I could see that this journey of mine of fashion was going to take a very, very, very a, a, a long time. Mm. So I was like, let me just try and start other businesses. You know, at least I'm able to sell something. So I started mm. a cleaning mm. services company. So that is what sustained me um, through all those years up until it wasn't so good. And I decided to go and study civil engineering at an FAT college. Mm. Mm. So mm. in 2013, I, I, I studied civil engineering up until 2015. Mm. And then from there, I went on to work in a construction company mm -hmm. for at least a year or two and I was like I think it's about time I hang my skokoro you know <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah and then then yeah that was when I started doing research about like um, my, my my business today mm -hmm. yeah. just paint us a picture man because you you tell a real you know a real story that we all can attach to yeah it's you know how we all started this is how we all came we come from nothing basically yeah. and what's intriguing for me is you say after you had to rewrite your metric then you past yeah. automatically you knew that there was no hope for you you yeah. know if you decided to study further yeah yeah paint us a picture how was that like having to make that decision you know in your young years to say Ish, you know the circumstances don't allow for me to actually 
go to varsity mm. until you started working for yourself mm. to raise money to not go start for, study engineering paint us that picture i think um growing up in a shack and being laughed at actually helped me in in, in being strong you know mm. so mm. i actually i'm um, excluded myself from so many activities and 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 so many things so i was just alone throughout all those years i would read mm. books and I, I, I was studying the, the Richard Maponyas of this world, how they mm. actually conquered, you know, the Hemed Mashabas of this world, you know, how they actually went into business. Mm. And from an early age, I actually saw myself as an entrepreneur. I, I saw myself as a positive young teenager, you know. Mm. So that is what actually helped me in, in conquering whatever that I actually went through. So mm. even when I failed my metric, I actually went to my mom. I was like, dude. I'm the first child of yours who actually failed me because mm -hmm. my two older brothers, you know, passed very, very well. Excellent. You know, yeah. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, dude, I, I, I failed. Mm -hmm. And she was like, oh, how many? I'm like, I'm, I'm, only, going, I'm only getting my statement. Um, I'm the following day. She's like, cool. Let us see. Mm -hmm. Showed her like only two seconds. Like, ah, just go back. Yeah, you know? Realize. Yeah, yeah. Just. But I, I never had those suicidal thoughts. I always knew that you know for me to actually be something in life, I have to go through this fire, you know? Mm. I was, I have, I have always been a, a positive young person. So that actually helped me in, in, in overcoming everything that I actually went through, you know? Mm -hmm. So even during the time that I failed, even, even during the time that I was jobless and my mom wasn't working, all my brothers were also not working. And we had a little sister as well at home, mm. you know, we were struggling. But mm. I was reading books, I was reading magazines because I could see that there are actually other people who are actually living mm. well off, you know. Mm. So there's actually something that one needs to do for them to get to that point. Mm. So I just wanted to conquer that. I knew that I had to work hard. I knew that I needed to show up, mm. you know. Mm. So that was what I was actually doing throughout all those years. So I was just um, 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 going out there and getting closer to success whatever that I did, you know, mm. I didn't have a normal childhood. Mm. I didn't. I had a childhood that said, dude, you need to get your mom out of this gutter, mm. you know? Mm. So, yeah. What was your motivation? Because <sighs> you sound like somebody who had a lot of drive. You, you, you know, you knew, you knew that this is not how your story is going to end in a yeah. shack. You knew that there was a better world out there and you knew that it took you to get you guys to that world. What was your motivation? What was the thing that kept you going? Music. Mm, mm, Music. Mm, you know, I love Jay-Z. I love mm. Kanye West. And listening to Jay-Z, uh, even, even, even the moves that I make today, you know, mm, like I mm, can tell mm. that there's hip-hop yeah, yeah, there, yeah, you know, yeah, there's, yeah. there's higher <laughs> influence, you know. <laughs> and yeah, yeah, Jay-Z's music actually kept me going through the years. You know, mm, how he mm, rapped about mm. like um him um, um, selling trucks, um, mm. him studying, uh, um, uh, like him being rejected by, by, by mm. bigger labels to him studying his own label and, and later on selling it, selling a uh, uh, rock away. So mm. all his music, Kanye West's music, that is what got me going through all those years. Yeah, that is an amazing story. So now yeah. I just want us to get into the business of Drip Foodway. Yeah. Drip Foodway. Tell us about that dream. Like, you know, how did it come about? <sighs> Um, I was, I was, I was in construction. Um, and and I was working very hard. You know, I was working from city to city. I was building. I was doing project management. I was, you know, um, in meetings. I was just a young man, you know, getting a salary. Now my life was uplifted. I have a townhouse. I'm driving a young BMW there, but I could see that I was actually um um nearing a ceiling whereby I couldn't, you know, pass, you know? Mm. And I was like, oh, there was what? no longer growth. Yeah, mm. yeah, yeah. There was no longer growth. And and I was like, let me challenge myself. What is it that I'd like to do? I have a, a little bit of some capital nyana here. And what can what is that I can do, you know? Mm -hmm. So I, I started searching around and I was like, ah, maybe I should just go back into fashion. A initially, I wanted to do um, formal shoes, mm -hmm. you know? I wanted to do formal shoes like loafers. Um, mm -hmm. um, also because of Kanye West, he used to love loafers back yeah. in the day, you know? <laughs> you know, <laughs> uh, 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 wearing suits and everything. Mm, so mm. I was like, ah, let me just go into low fast. I started doing my research, designs and everything. But then I checked the South African market. I was like, ah, we are more of a sneaker, um, mm. um, 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 culture market. Mm -hmm. And I was like, let me just uh, see if maybe, just maybe, you know. And there was no reference that I can actually look at and say, so and so is doing this, you mm -hmm. know, I can actually do this as well. So it was just a, a one of those blank shots. And but but Nike was there, Adidas was there, Puma was there. You know, I started doing my research, started um trying to learn about manufacturing. How mm. can I actually go about you know starting my own sneaker business? At mm. least I had the foundation from the loafers business. You know, um, 
And yeah, that is how I started. I didn't know whether to go high top, whether to go, you know, um, I'm, I'm laceless, those type of things. But through um, I'm meeting all these production companies, me meeting guys um, um, who, 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 who run the stores, you know, like your Shasha stores. Mm. There's a guy that I, that, that I actually approached who works there. And I started, you know, gathering information and research about mm. like um, the, the, the industry in South Africa, the sneaker exchange, the mm. culture. That is when I was like, ah, okay, it's cool. Probably maybe this is the right thing to actually do, you know? Mm. Um, like, but besides, uh, the, the first shoe that I made was a sneaker. So uh, let me just go back in my roots and just go into sneakers. But mm. now let me just go commercial about it. Let mm. me go big about it. That is what I wanted. Either I, I, I go big, I open stores, and I become a billionaire, or I don't do it at all. So that was, yeah, that. So... I, I started searching for factories around. Um, 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 luckily, I, I got like um, the first factory. They helped me with the uh, prototypes and everything, you know. And and the design it took at least a year or two, you know. Mm. I'm trying to get the prototype right, you know. Um, and but it was a costly exercise. Mm. Uh, mm. And that mm. actually, you know, um, chowed all my savings. And mm. I was like, at at at, at the time whereby. I had at least in these six pairs of the prototypes. Mm. I now had a final product, but it didn't have um, 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 the label because I needed to manufacture mm, at least, yeah, mm, I needed to manufacture it. at least 600 pairs mm. for me to have um, um, um label, you mm. know, but they were like, mm. here's a 26 pair prototype, go and see what you can do with it. And I, I, I walked out of the factory with the, with, with the bag that has 26 pairs and a product. You know, mm -hmm. I went home, I looked, I, I gave a, a friend of mine a call and I was like, ah, my brother, um, I have a product. Can you just make me a website? You know, he develops websites. And then he made a website. He's like, if only can give me one pair, Mzal. Yeah. And then I gave him one pair. <laughs> now you left it 25. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and I cleaned my social media pages, mm -hmm. you know. You know, on social media, we're always negative there yeah. as, as young people, yeah. you know, yeah. sharing jokes. Agendas there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I actually went back and mm. I cleaned all my social media pages. And then I came back as a new uh, uh, entrepreneur in business. And I was like, you know what? Um, for me to be able to sell, I just have to focus on just this one product. Mm. Even, you know, like um, at first, when, when I was posting jokes, I'd get my 300 likes. Mm. But the first time I posted Drip, I think I got two or three likes, mm. you know? And I was like, I'm going to, at least the three people actually like the product. Mm. I'm going to build from these three people, mm. you know? And yeah, um, um, I actually shared my story, you know? Um, I shared my story and I didn't want to sell the shoe. Um, I'm using the story, but I just shared. Mm. In 2003, I didn't have a shoe. This is this is now um I'm, I'm the, the like out of today. Mm. I have a product that 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 tweet blew. You know, it trended. Yeah, it trended. You know, I got interviews, radio interviews. I didn't have the products. Mm. You know, mm. and I was like, um, people actually like the shoes. Uh, let me just open a pre-order on our mm. on our online store. I did that. I raised the funds using and you a pre-order. I didn't have shoes. You just have samples. Yeah, you know. And I, I opened a pre-order. I raised enough capital to actually fund the production of the shoes. Mm. That was mm. how the mm. brand was mm. actually mm. created. So you never got funding? Never got funding. Obviously, brought money from friends yes, here and there. But, you never got but I never got formal funding. Never. No, I, there was no department in this country that said, we never, see what you're doing. Never, never. So tell us about the mission now. But before you tell us and share about that, I just want to remind the people it's hashtag after five for the Google Kati every Tuesdays and Wednesdays. Every Tuesdays and Thursdays, we talk the businesses that matter. You know, the elephant in the room. And don't forget to follow us on Ed, I love Melville's at Life on all social media platforms. Yes, man, just say, what was your mission at this point? Because now you're, you know, people are starting to respond to your product mm. and people are starting to order now. Yeah. Do you sit back and say, yo, where to from now? Because now this thing is picking up. At that time, there's no time for you to just seek and think. Yeah, you, know? you just want to see. At that time, you're like, okay, fine. Where am I gonna get shoe boxes? Mm. What type of branding am I gonna use? You know. So now you have at you least. You don't have a logo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You do, like there's no logo at all. I actually made the logo on my phone. Mm. I, I made the logo mm. myself. You know. Mm. And if, if, even the name, even the name, I actually said uh, a, a few friends of mine, like, guys, what type of name can we actually come with? You know, they were like, I own mm. you know, <laughs> they, yeah, they were yeah. saying that, you know, <laughs> but, but, but like, um, I, as soon as I launched the business on social media, I got all these interviews on TV, being on radio, and they were like, actually, there's something here, you know, mm. and I launched the business using people's money, you know. And as soon as I got the money, now I, I had to go and, hey. and, and hustle um, paper bags, shoe boxes and everything. 
when the shoes got, I, I was still staying in in, in Calvin. Mm. When 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 they delivered the shoes, I had never seen so many shoes in my life, you know. And I had to package them. I had to you know write the addresses and learn One how man. to courier. Yeah, you know, and and learn how to courier the shoes to respective customers. You know, that was the hardest thing ever. Within six six, six weeks, almost six hundred shoes were actually sold. Mm. You know, mm. and then now mm. I have money to actually go ahead. But mm. I was like, I don't have a direction. I don't have anything. Mm. The only thing that I have is this brand that people actually love because mm. of where I come from. Because I was honest. Because I was organic with my mm. story. You know, mm. and I was like, okay, fine. Now I have to you know see the direction that i'm actually going to take and i was like okay maybe let me just take the whole amount of money and reinvest into the business because i only mm. had one color now i have to have two colors brand the shoes you know mm. I, I modify the website mm. uh, I, I do billboards you know i was now making connections with other people mm. you know getting billboards for free because they like the story because mm. they like me you know mm. in december um on the on the second of december yeah and then i got my 1200 pairs in 2019 mm. and that sold the whole of december 2019 made my first million selling shoes mm, mm, and that mm. our, now the business is now officially launched there's no time mm, for you to be making mistakes you know you're, mm, like people are now expecting you to do your a game you know mm. so yeah that is how drip was actually created you know it has been very 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 fast from the get-go mm, 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 mm. sure so basically now 2019 towards the end first yeah. million you are alone yeah. Or now you've got my friend and my friend now who sees the dream. You know, but I want to know something is happening. Now they're coming closer to say, where can we help? Yeah. Yeah, no, there's a, there's a friend of mine. Um, I'm a high school friend of mine operately, you know, because I, I, didn't, I didn't have a car to actually move um, 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 the, the product. And he was like, dude, I can see you are very busy. You are delivering all over the place. You are courier. Mm -hmm. You know, making mistakes as well here and there. And he was like, I have a car because I was using Taxify, Bolt mm, now. You know, to mm. Yeah, yeah. As long as people had, it got to lose up. Mm. So he, he came on board and then he helped me out with transport, you know. And yeah, my wife also came on board. She was like, ah, okay, my guy, I can see you are struggling, mm. you know. It's, it's, it's festive season. I'm close. Let, let me just help you to distribute the mm. shoes. Yeah. And and each and every problem that I faced, I actually knew valuing a solution. You know, mm -hmm. each and everything that I did, like the shoes were kept in, in my townhouse in Kelvin. Mm -hmm. Now I have to, you know, have a vision. So let me grow and, and rent in a warehouse. You know, mm -hmm. let me now um, um, rent, uh, hire someone who's going to deal with um, um, track and tracing of mm -hmm. e-commerce. Let me create an e-commerce department mm -hmm. as small as the business was. Mm -hmm. So I, I started placing in people, you know, saying, okay, when is it WhatsApp? I'd get mm -hmm. 1,000 WhatsApps a day. Mm. you know orders and questions orders. And, inter and inter yeah, interactions interactions ways mm. my shoe you know those type of things mm. tricking and tracing and i now i can see that i'm now drowning mm. you know i was losing weight i was always on the on, on my phone 3 a.m mm. you know i wasn't mm. sleeping and 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 I, I was like okay let me just build a business out of this mm. you know started hiring people one two three four five mm. you know up until we hey, had role, a when i need you to do this yes not because yes. i'm hiring no i just yeah, need help i just, I just need yeah. help just do this you know i'll yeah. see how i can actually pay you mm. you know so that was at least in 2020 um or in, in feb you know now i had at least i think um two yeah two people my, my brother and my wife were actually helping me and then i was like ah okay let me just get two more people and then, mm. and then i got two more people who are actually now full time mm -hmm. now i have mm -hmm. three uh, responsibilities of a warehouse and two salaries mm -hmm. and they didn't come mm -hmm. cheap at the time because they and were that like time, hey, no you're not sure if it's just a hype or this thing yeah, yeah 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 mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. and because because it's fashion you know like we've seen you know <laughs> fashion, going, yeah. yeah yeah come and mm -hmm. go and, and i was like but um that is where i actually started to pause mm -hmm. and i was like i don't want this to be a, a, a trend because mm. like you can 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 like the, the name itself says drip drip mm. is a social media mm. um, I'm, I'm a trendy name. yeah it's actually a trendy name mm. but how do we build this to to have weight and to be a brand those are the conversations that i started having with myself you know mm. when i'm sitting alone how can i do that you know that is when i started um i'm profiling myself as an entrepreneur that is when i started you know doing all, all these talks you mm. know doing interviews and everything so people mm. can actually see that there's a person mm. behind, behind the, brand, the brand and there's a story and there's behind a story, the brand. Yes. yeah so so um yeah those are the starting phase of actually you know me being serious me mm. posting serious things and associating myself with you know other people in the industry that i actually look up to like abu, abu dj's boo you know coming through to actually help me out mm. yeah so yeah 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 um 
and obviously there was now lockdown, you know. <laughs> How was that for a new business? Yo, it was very hard. It was very hard. You know, I was sitting with um, uh, millions in stock, mm. you know, rent. I, I have I, I have to pay these two salaries as well, you know. There's a warehouse. Yeah, there's, there's, there's the warehouse now, you know. And and I was like, because ah, everyone was like, ah, just in one day's yana, and then, mm. you know, they're going to be okay. But luckily for us, because we, we are in retail, mm. um, I was quick to actually go and make that, um, 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 is it the license or something to actually trade for, trade, for fashion? Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. So actually I did that. And then we were allowed to trade because other 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 um, clothing retailers were actually opened as well. So we we're allowed to trade. So that is how we actually grew. You know, drip grew during lockdown. So the first 21 days, I didn't rest. Mm. I was actually online because everyone was just online. So I was selling shoes mm. online. I sold so many shoes in, in that first 21 days. By the time we opened, I was now actually hiring for more people to mm. start help us in distributing. Because now the demand is growing. Now demand is growing. Mm. Everyone is now online, you know. And I, I actually asked a, a neighbor of mine at the warehouse. It's like, dude, she, she actually has a, a, a hair business. She sells mm. wigs. I was like, dude, can you see the trends right now? You know, people are actually buying more online. She was mm. like, dude, I'm actually seeing it. I was like, okay, let us just capitalize on that. Let us just mm. be online. You know, that is why even our cars today are only branded with our website because mm. we realize that people are now free to actually buy online as long as they trust um, 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 the, the business. Mm. So, yeah, during lockdown, we actually were like, okay, fine. Um, 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 COVID is here. Uh, we're changing w- uh, ways of doing business. Mm. We have to be more online. And but let us just grow the business. Mm-hmm. So I started getting calls from um property companies, your city properties say we have space in Pretoria, come open a store. I was like, no, during a pandemic, you know. And then mm-hmm. someone said, whispered to me and say, My guy, open a store. Mm-hmm. And I was like, Should I? And they were like, Yeah, open a store. Mm-hmm. Opened um, um the pop-up store in Newtown Junction. Mm-hmm. Yeah, DJ Shimza came through, shout out to Shimza, uh, uh, DJ's Boo came through, shout out to DJ's Boo. Mm-hmm. And then we opened another store in Pretoria the following weekend. Mm-hmm. And uh, those were the best moments of my life. You know, the mm-hmm. first uh, pop-up store in Newtown actually opened way and then now people actually look at us differently mm. as a, a much more professional business mm. as, as a much more trusted business in the industry you know and i was like maybe the hype is gonna go down but i was like ah okay let us just carry on let mm. us do it. let me just mm. be a businessman about it yeah and then we we never actually look back you know mm. in, in in that about uh less than a year now we we, we had about five store you know by by last year yeah how many did you open now we have seven <laughs> I, I forgot. You, you even lose a card. <laughs> we have a video clip here of your business and your story. Hey, I just yeah. want our viewers to actually see it. Um, and after that, we immediately go to the break. Okay.
I and uh, Tabi, so my Tabi, so and I, we are stand up comics. We tell jokes. We are jokers. We are. We really are. We tell jokes. Not only that, we're also award winning comedians. We are award winning comedians. You're also a brilliant actor. Oh man. Yeah. Tell them. Yes. What else? You also. <laughs> what else? What else? What else do you do? I'm a great lover. Plan? This penis has served many people, but this is too early in the show for us to go sexual. Rakosa. Penis. Kamuhelo Rakosa. I, I hey. wonder if I'm saying your surname correctly, Kamuhelo. Hey. If not, allow me to change it. Jokes! I'm joking. It's fine. We'll call you Rakosa. Kamuhelo says, Hello. The show is mad fun. Yo, with two exclamation marks, so you know two. she meant that. You know she meant it all. She doesn't know how to use grammar. Kamuhelo is a dude. It's a bro. dude. Uh, isn't oh, it a woman? A guy. The only comes in. Oh wait, I do know. Oh, Double is a I guy. I shawty. was just. I go. Pinyo usakala. Ukale lumvan. Ukale lumvan. Usakala lava fan. Ukuma mina ukale lumba wa kengshia. Gabe nani dan like hi. Gipis in gipis in vovana na mafingi le mukamelo in. Sangu uwasha lo mukamelo. Vuga pindi. Ukale lava fan eka gaham ba yokzale linga zaga kanda mu ena zimu wa aku uwe nuzonje we ro ma bazo ma kaka sama ni pizza ba kunzano nani. Usungange lao in. <laughs> no, no, that's the most unsexiest way to speak about sex. I don't care who you are. <laughs> Yo, I'm a cancellor. Yo, I'm full of words. That is a serious don't, crisis. Don't put me in front of a cancellor. I will. Woo. <laughs> so I come from Mkhali City, right? Yeah. <laughs> and I think back then, Mas Hasila. Mas Hasila. You know, Mkhali City is slow. Mkhali City is slow. I'm not as good as a lady, you know, in yeah. our municipality. It's slow, man. Like, Mkhali City, like, I want to be in front of you in high school. But I'm in Mkhali City. Yo. Like my pet on my post, and I'm out here begging. I'm baby fail. Yo, I can't do my own mail. I go stand at eleven. So I stand at level. I'm figure go stand at six. I'm going to go stand at eleven. I log a meal. You pet your post. I'm calling it. You know, and then you get there. Like I'm here. I'm going to be figure and join. They got the numbers. <laughs> <laughs> And current affairs. This is After Five with Cuckoo Cat. Maybe right here on AllofMarvel.live. After Five with Cuckoo Cat. Welcome back. It's hashtag After Five with Cuckoo Cati. We do this every Tuesday and Thursday. It's still, it's still the same question. Elephant in the room. Hashtag why is youth unemployment so high? While you're waiting for the answers, what are you doing about it? In studio, we've got our friend now, Mr. Likao, owner and founder of Itrip. The story is so amazing. The persistence and literally, literally, this is the story that we're sharing. We're telling you it is possible. You don't need to wait for nobody in this country because no one is coming for you, you know? So basically, he's already still in studio sharing our story, but we just want to take a call. I think we have a caller. Caller, hello. Hello. Hey. Oh, hello. <laughs> <laughs> it's somebody a black to you call in. in. You guys to call in. Please engage him within the studio. And I knew you guys would miss this moment. You wanted to talk to the guy. Yes, <laughs> we've been listening to your we were listening to your interview. Very interest. It's very interesting. Hi, Hi. Mr. Lekau. How are you? Um, great thanks and how are you good you know i'm a big fan of your sh of, of your sneakers like i think i stalk you guys like there's no tomorrow i mean yeah everybody knows that a drip is my 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 way to go i love drip. i love uh, love drip. they're so comfortable and i love the service that you guys give i mean for the fact that i can just um call you and in less than an hour to Oh, I've got someone delivering at my house. It's just, it's amazing, you know? Yeah. So well done. I am well done. Well done. You know, um, I've got a question. 
So would you consider yourself a competitor to Batu? <sighs> um, <laughs> and, and there's actually a picture that is doing the rounds on social media with me and him meeting for the first time. Um, last that week. was powerful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That very, was a strong picture. You and Theo in a picture. Yeah. yeah. That was okay. That picture. Yeah. Oh, and I'm asking that because you must understand that when I Theo, you are considered to be two of the big, big brands. I mean, when it comes to mm. um, sneakers, mm. in terms of you're the first black people to design um, sneakers. And I mean, they're big, they're huge. I mean, like I said, mm. Mm. I know friends, people who go for either part to now I go for drip, mm. you know? Mm. So hence, I'm asking, do you guys see each other as competitors or, or not really? <sighs> No, man, we're not competitors. We, we, we are brothers, you know. Um, that is the narrative okay. that we actually want to take out there because we are still at our studying stages comparing to your, your Nike, you know. They own mm -hmm. the market. Um, in 2019 alone, over 400,000 pairs of shoes were sold in South Africa. And wow. we 5% of that, you know. So if you can mm -hmm. now start and say, yeah, I'm competing with Batu, and then you're also going to kill that um, 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 cleanness of, of mm. us. Being, you know in our own ways you know i don't mm. wake up and i actually think of him or look at him i wake up and say how can we become um i'm bigger than nike in south africa and also take over the world and and compete mm. with sports and have performance shoes those type of things so mm. i am he inspires me I, I told him so many times when i was with him last week that i'm, I'm inspired by him you know he's doing great you know he's big yeah mm -hmm. and but wow. no, yeah we're actually not competing we're not he's not my competition that's, all right that's that's, pretty, that's pretty, pretty that's amazing um evening sir this is success this is my success. friend <laughs> <laughs> hi hi, hi. Really and, and Google friend. <laughs> <laughs> okay um i've got a few questions um um for your product actually um what is your your marketing strategy what is the like the marketing strategy that you're going to use like different from others yeah? and mm. i think you more focused on like the market that is like out there like uh probably let me put it this way the black market so your marketing what is your marketing plan and a marketing strategy for it to reach like because i even had people talking about limpopo giani no no uh, limpopo in giani venda toyando uh polokwani what what is your marketing strategy and also what 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 when people order what is there that for you you make it quick for them to get the product is there a plan that you have or is there a marketing strategy plan that you have for your product because remember all products are market differently they can be the same as like we ask uh what is your are you are your competitor to the batu product then the your marketing strategy what is your plan with it <clears throat> um you know like like, like I actually said earlier on that, like, um, I, I, I had to grow the brand from, from, from scratch, you know, and mm -hmm. I had to be smart enough to say, let me implement, um, um, strategy so that we can actually grow. And now I'm talking about Nike, you know, and so mm -hmm. that we can actually, Nike has, Nike is powerful, you know, for mm -hmm. me to actually be able to mention Nike, it, it, it says a lot mm -hmm. about my mm -hmm. thinking uh, and, and where I actually want mm -hmm. to take the How brand to. How far you want to go. Yeah. Um, but I started off using my story, you know, like um, um, if, if, if you have been following me, I always use the hashtag the township dream. And I've mm -hmm. been implementing the township dream um, into um, me selling sneakers. So I actually placed the brand in, into the township and said, this is your product, sell it, mm -hmm. you know. I'm, I'm, mm -hmm. I'm in. we've never had this before mm. so that is where i placed the drip and um me doing that i also said to them you know what um these big um, um companies come to south africa and they don't do anything mm. you know there's a hashtag mm. that is going on on, in, on twitter right now by sibuma pena children goes a long way we, 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 are, we are part of that as well today you know mm. Mm. it took someone from the township you know buying drip for drip to actually now go back and say students can actually go to school mm -hmm. so this is the township dream that i'm actually talking about so that is the market placement uh, and strategy that i'm actually talking about but we're actually mm -hmm. I'm, I'm trying to rebrand and then um, um, be a cool brand right now but mm -hmm. i will always have the roots of the township because our yeah. name is a township and mm. our, our name says something else but we have to work hard and then couple it with um our story like the township dream to actually put it out there so mm. so, so yeah there's there's so much work that is happening behind the scenes to actually um i'm um, um, strategically place it uh, within the market within the market i mean I'm, 
Oh, oh my second my second question is you one is that, that <laughs> <laughs> okay. my second question is that you mentioned uh, you mentioned township and in the process yeah. of township um you have like successors from Giani who is like 500 kilos away from you you know and he wants to order your product um yeah. what is the plan how do you do it how quick is it for me for somebody that is far away from you to get the product when they order what is the ordering process and the payment process what what what, what is that because i saw people asking such questions how do we order how do you get our product and how much does, how does, much it, does range? it cost yes like okay. the shoe range how much is it costing well i know the price but i mean people don't so <laughs> <laughs> uh we have we have a kiddies range it's called a uh, bundle of joy you know i saw that out. it's so mm. cute oh my god <laughs> <laughs> yeah we actually went out and then trademarked um um um, um, um bundle of joy um and they they, they go for a uh, 700 rents and they're like um the, the current range that has uh d's around like um they go for 1200 so drip mm. was um I'm um, created um from from online from social media and then from from, an, from, from a website you know mm. so um we have a very very big e-commerce you know at, at our new headquarters in mm. Centurion we have a huge room um, with call center agents mm. you know mm. working wow. Wow. day in and day out to actually make sure that your drip gets delivered on time like okay. um, as Brunette says, like um, she actually gets hairs within an hour. You know, I do, I do, yeah, because she's brunette. No, not because she's brunette, because she's such a good customer. <laughs> nice one. Yeah. <laughs> To, to to own the value chain so we have yeah. deliveries we have trucks and then we okay. also partnered with um, a, a courier company that actually couriers throughout south africa you know nice. and then also going to be doing it in the uk as well so you order online mm. www.sa.co.za mm. and then like mm. um, your details are actually captured on the system and then okay. Uh, okay. It's okay. you get a receipt right. and then like um, it's, it's, it gets shipped out the following day and then right. yeah so within two to three days you can actually get your drip rights Mm. Nice. Oh, one. I love it. Perfect. But now, question: I see that everybody goes through the whole um, ambassadorship thing. You know, like um, mm -hmm. Batu went with Kanyimbao, Somizi, mm -hmm. um, all those people. Goes with influentials. And then, and, yeah, yeah, and then I see that Drip is going with I think Casper, if I'm not mistaken, and Kanta. <laughs> yes, no. <laughs> You're exposing <laughs> secrets. Oh, but it's not a secret. It's a marketing. It's a marketing. We cannot confirm that. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Kita, oh, man, they're drinking tea. The deal was closed. Huh? They went to have tea. <laughs> <laughs> the tea had so sugar. I know. You were supporting a local brand. Yeah. Okay. Just buying shoes. <laughs> supporting I, a local brand. Okay. My next pair of shoes. Uh, we're not Googling now. We're going to drink tea, ne, friend? <laughs> <laughs> yes, definitely, definitely. Guys, thank you so much for calling in and we really appreciate it. You know, um, you guys taking your time out just to engage us a little bit. But yeah, man, I just want to take one more question. Um, there's a guy here asking, his name is Kudo. He says, amongst all your talents, which one do you think will keep you going? This one. Which one? Amongst many going? of the skills which um you have. Which one played the most important role for you? Marketing. Marketing. The marketing skill. Mm. Google, can I ask the last one? Hey, I never fit. <laughs> no, I, I, this is very, this is, this is very important. <laughs> it's important because you, Success. it's because, of, no, it's important because Everything. it's the topic. Mm. We don't mm. it. It's because of the topic that we're talking about. Um, mm. what can you advise a young man who's sitting in Alexander who wants to start a brand and he's trying or start whatever they want to start mm. and trying out to reach out and get sponsors or what do you call what do you call your DTI, the, the people that sponsor or the people that funding. Mm. And as I heard you said, for you, there was no one that came to say, listen, this is who I am. This is the company, so and so. This is the department, so and so. As Google mentioned, we're going to find you. What can you advise a young Litabo who's sitting in Alexander wants to start a, a product or wants to start a company, but they are not getting the funding? What is there for you to say, list uh, one, two, three, four, five? I want that uh, you are, how can you advise young, young people who? Because Google mentioned that we are more on depending on the government. Mm. 
you know, mm. depending on the companies, depending on whoever has influence of capital for you to start something. So what is it that you can invite somebody who doesn't have anything, but they want to start something awesome? Yeah, you know, um, there are, there are other businesses that you literally can't start without mm. without without funding. You know, mm. you you just mm. have to work on proposals. Um, and and uh, um, I think I think someone might actually um, um correct me if I'm wrong, but like um the the DTI I think actually helps in 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 creating business plans mm. and and those type of proposals. You know, banking, uh, your 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 you're opening a bank accounts and, and all, all those sorts of things. So there are businesses that you can't literally start without you being funded. But there are those ones like Drip, like that you can actually, you know, just use a tablet and there and say, let me just mm, use social media. Test. Yeah, yeah, mm. yeah. You know, um, it got me talking to the CEO of um the NYD. It got me to starting Drip for me to be able to talk to the CEO mm. of NYDA. Mm. You know, had mm. I started, I wasn't going to be mm. in a platform with him. So I had mm. to do something with whatever mm. that I had. Mm. Mm. But, mm. but that got me to me having a meeting with him and mm. i didn't i wasn't having a meeting with him because i wanted money but i was mm. having a meeting with him so it's, and sharing my story to inspire the next kid that here's another mm. thing that when you say you don't have funds that you can look up to that you can also use his um, um uh, w- w- the, the route that he actually taken for you to also like do what you want to do you know mm. but yeah, um, um, the, uh, i'm i'm kids in the hood can actually just um follow us check what we're actually doing you know and then um sometimes yeah i i, I do share um, um, um these things from the deep from from the government uh, um these funding things on my social media platforms they can mm. i don't know if they help you know i don't want to be uh, held liable if <laughs> if, if they're not <laughs> yeah, we cover that on the show yeah 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 no, well, thank you so thank much, Avantika. We are very proud of you. We're very proud of what we you're doing. We love you. We love, we love your you. Product. We appreciate thank your you. product. I love Jip. I love, love Jip. I mean, it's the most comfortable sneaker that I, I have. Know, and I know. I know. that's thank why you. I want it in all colors. And I love the colors. Oh, my gosh. It's I'm going to buy also. There we go. I just got your new client. <laughs> <laughs> you have been converted into a dream guy. <laughs> there we go. There we go. I'm also going to buy. Hey, guys. I love you so much. Thank have you so much. a beautiful and Thank you for being on the show. <laughs> Bye. There's a question here on stream here. Does Drip Foodway have a CSI project lined up? If so, what are those projects and uh, that you have done? <sighs> you know, I'm I'm like like I said earlier on, I said like um we are we are currently working in um brand positioning drip and we are going to actually be moving away from the township dream. But Lekao Sihuana is going to be adopting the township dream. So it's going mm. to belong to me because the township dream is way too personal for, for a brand. Mm. So the township dream is more of, of, of my dream. And um, we're going to turn that into an organization that actually goes into the townships and, 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 and helps um, kids to, to identify their dreams as well, like I did for myself. So, yeah, um, we, we, we haven't started, but uh, we, we're supposed to have actually bought school shoes, but we were disturbed by, 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 by COVID. Um, but yeah, today we were part of um the 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 Lasizo and Sibuma Pena initiative. Mm, yeah, 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 but like I, I haven't I formally started my own um, um foundation. foundation that mm. actually gives back to the townships. I'm still in, in the starting phase. Also, because you're still in a new business, yeah, you still have yeah. a lot of responsibility, you know, um, to play. It takes yeah. me to my next comment, you know, to say um, what I wanted to say when you mentioned the picture, you know, that you took with um Theo Baloy. Yeah. And I said it was powerful because, you know, more than you guys, more than the two of you doing what you guys are doing, you are promoting a bigger story. Yeah. The story here is we know our own people don't buy our own brands. Yeah. There's been manufacturers, there's been designers since the beginning of time. Yeah. It will take outsiders to come and support us or, you know, other, uh, other, other nations yeah. to actually buy into our story, buy into our product. But us, basically, you know, we've got that thing of, hey, whatever. And I was very proud and I also saw on your website, your prices. I said, big up, you know, big mm. up because people expect you to be cheap mm. because you're, Mm. But you do actually offer a good product. Mm. You put in a lot of work into this product, mm. manufacturing, and you're not cutting, you know, you're not cutting 
the the, the you know you know you know you're not cutting the way yeah. you know and getting your things backed or cheaper mm. and you are calling some manufacturer there to do these things overnight for you yeah. you are actually running a solid business mm. and for you guys to say these are the prices i was very proud of that and i said you see this is what it is because before they buy nike they need to know this drip yeah. before you go and buy but you need to know this drip and that's the mm. narrative and i said that was powerful so big up to you guys oh, for that you. because it will allow even other designers mm. other people who want to birth more products you guys are paving the way yeah tomorrow somebody is easily saying i'm going to be a fashion designer and people are going to buy my product because they already started you guys have already started you know that whole campaign yeah. and people once you change their mindset they never go back you yeah, know yeah, so true. yes man just tell us quickly what is your role when now your role as a ceo and founder <clears throat> of drip now yeah my role as the ceo is to like like right now you know like i just saw on the screen here our, our new headquarters mm. um um is to drive um profit into the business is mm -hmm. to make sure that we have good products make sure like because we're still small so i'm still involved in the design aspect of the business and um people keep on asking is drip only a shoe you know you can tell the name allows us to have sunglasses mm. watches and everything and so swag. yeah yeah so mm. so as the ceo i'm just sitting there and then coming up with these strategies um from and and also building a team you know mm. the finance the hr the retail um, um operations so i am sitting there at the top and just building a team that's going to make it very 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 easy for people to actually get shoes mm. so I, I i just oversee the business just make sure that it's actually profitable and i'm and and i and i wake up i, I can just decide tomorrow that didn't just fly down to Deben because i just want to see if we have mm. customers if we can open a store mm. so i am that guy i'm um, within the company that has the eye and the vision to actually say we can plant a store here we can create employment here mm -hmm. this is the direction that the business has to take mm -hmm. like um I, I, on, on my way here driving here I, I spoke to our md and i said you know um the way we manufacture now has to change you know the mm -hmm. way we keep our stock mm -hmm. now has to change because it's not like um i can call the factory and say make me five thousand pairs of images mm -hmm. now now we, we, yeah yeah now we have uh, we have to roll out 10 more stores by the end of um september you know so that is my role as a CEO to make sure that like um, we have um, enough stock um, uh, online social media is being run the way that it should be you know so yeah no man as we head to the break hey we're still sitting with him it's amazing please feel free to send him all those questions and I see you guys on my live and I see you guys on StreamYard we're with you with you just want to go to a quick ad break we are still live at I love Melville.live on all social media platforms to join us live and be a live audience in studio it's at I love Melville via YouTube space live it's hashtag after five with Google Kati <laughs> Speaker saying, y'all sound like screaming cats. Yo. Meow, 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 meow. needs to stop hurting his cat. <laughs> <laughs> needs to stop hurting Thank you for the cat. comeback. <laughs> That's all I'm gonna say to you, bread <laughs> man. How do you know that it sounds that like is, that? Is that is the so... best comeback Yo. on the face of the earth. Yo. Like, since I don't know how you're gonna come I back with that one, my man. I don't know. She was like, Kabza or Rata heartbreak. Yeah, yeah. No, Sviso, between the both of us, you're right. <laughs> you're right, Sviso. You're right. Sviso says no. And your sarcasm. Do you know what's happening? Come on, I got your. Was it vitamin D that you got? Like old guys, come uh, on. Not now, you with my parents. I don't know what this guy's saying. Oh, now I'm talking about vitamin D as in the vitamin D. Oh, okay. No. <laughs> Okay, Mr. D. Huh? Think you're funny. Huh? What is that? To a look in the mirror, say what's up. Why you wake up in the morning? Take a look at it. How does it go? Sweet, sweet, sweet. <laughs> I'm not to <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, Jan.
Kuna la mapepa pesa spuma Kuna Chabi nigga from K1 Pull up with the niggas then you know Bazozwa Skushi Kuva yes nanda It's not a black verse without the Splag eh Futsa Tula Keep black or rap up Rest in peace to the legendary Khrotmania Tsepa Damn it feels good To be back on the mic Shout out to Blue Prince For pulling a past the lookout Young niggas kill the game Don't rap and talk like T-Ball Out here with big bars and flows And like they're E.D. Ball You all ain't really saying shit And like in Paul Zinzala Hey man shut up Best to my melee Let's do the masla Shayang on my flow Waka pro No clever but the flava Always been heavy from the get go No mzimba got java Hang in sabi send pelele And it's not a debate Even your chick sleeps on you I think you see got great Okay I think it's hard time We take it back to the root Some of that hot good shit So finger lead Looking good, the corner music way my melu be mu shy and then good. You know I go hard, man. Petu give me on the scoop. Bazooka, shabby nigga from K1. Pull up with the niggas, then you know. Bazooka, squishy groove, I just nanda. Spoona like my pepper, but no spuma. Nigga, shabby nigga from K1. Pull up with the niggas, then you know. Bazooka, squishy groove, I just nanda. Spoona like my pepper, but no spuma. Kiki mabela ni kuma we na kusalaban Na musplege plegu shayi pase la ingo mkala ngwan Ah, triple the boot not make the keeper beseng shayi goal Over the white line, I don't sniff, I just drink my coke Get all of mine, it's just me and my wordplay I wouldn't write like this on a serious note on my worst day Your rap say ni sure I'll do it my way You don't understand how you'll rap, I'm in need of an X-ray Two beasts from the east, now no y'all can touch this No escape in this black hole, I'm king of the surface I preach the gospel in this hip-hop and y'all are ashes Cause y'all sing more than rap, sounding like Asha Shout out to Cancerville all day, we packing heats Frequently sky high with the squad, the radio cloud deep First 11 all the time, and mommy scheme like Stevie G Peta was the best, my rhyme scheme forever, DVE Basoba, chubby nigga from K1 Time to talk business, new development and current affairs. This is After Five with Kuku Kat. Right here on AlafMarvel.live. After Five with Kuku Kat. Welcome back. We are still here. I tuned in, guys. You know the story. Don't forget to follow us on all social media platforms at alivemelville.live and at alivemelville space live on YouTube to be part of our live audience. Send us your questions and comments on Facebook. We see you. Um, on live stream, we see you. We see you on our lives. We are all connected, but mostly we see you right there. We are with you today. You know the second part of the show, man. Development, development, development. Yes, now we've gone out there. We are entrepreneurs. We are doing the thing, you know. Who is supposed to reach out for us, to us, you know, to our sisters? Where are we supposed to go and knock? Because now we've started. We're no longer crying and saying, hey, government, do something for us. We're not knocking on departments. We sat down, we came up with a plan, and the plan is in motion. Who is supposed to now reach out, specifically right now, to you, Ligao, you know? How is our government supposed to now, you know, come in? Because at the end of the day, it is a responsibility that they hold towards us young entrepreneurs at the end of the day, because they do promote that we need to actually become entrepreneurs because, you know, there's no jobs in South Africa. That's what they're basically saying. Now we do start these companies and then still no one is calling you. Like, you know, you have to now leave your workplace when you are supposed to be opening more shops, doing more things to go now and knock on departments, you know, knock on departments. Why is that in this country, Werner, do you think? Yeah, and and I actually believe that that is the government's responsibility. You know, um, like um, they do have the minister of women and children, mm -hmm. minister of small businesses. Mm. You know, um, those are people that should actually come to us, or when we go to them, they should actually open the doors because mm. Lekau Sehwana has seven stores. Lekau Sehwana has employed over seventy people, and. Like also, Hana has to be subsidized in, mm. in terms of rent and in those malls, mm. you know, because I cannot be charged like um your your your, your other bigger retail stores. I'm I'm, I'm a previous And you're not like a franchise that, from you, international platform yeah, somewhere. Yeah, you know, mm. we, we are starting from scratch and, and they should be subsidizing us. And 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 um there should be a room you know, for them to actually come and help us because we started with cash flow, mm. you know, as a uh, right, it's in a no, we are, we are doing well, but the, the, the bigger we grow, the, the more we actually have bigger problems of cash and flow. And mistakes are costly. Yeah, mistakes mm. are very, very costly, you know. So, yeah, I, I, I think they should actually, you know, uh, because especially because we are easily 
identifiable, you know, like how is then social media is doing great. We are trending, we're doing all these sorts of things, but um, no one is actually giving us a call. No one is actually mm. seeing us, you mm. know, but uh, <laughs> it is what it is. <laughs> <laughs> because you know why I'm asking that question? Because, you mm. know, it is, you know, their responsibility now in this in this in this specific point, the government's responsibility because you know what they promise the youth that yeah. are you know pursuing entrepreneurship. They say you know we promise you the seat on the table. Yeah. You know start something. We'll offer you training. Yeah. Um, you know open we open up what your plan is to us. We'll meet you halfway with funding. These mm. are things that they've promised. Mm. And with every entrepreneur that I've spoken to, I don't know anyone who's gotten funding. Eh, yeah. it's always by private or by you know um, venture capitalist, which you don't have a lot of in this country mm. or angel investors are you familiar with angel investors and did anyone outside of government say i'm an man i'm a business owner i see what you're doing what do you need and go to saga in <sighs> no uh, we actually never had those you know mm. um some of us just did it uh on our on our own mm. and 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 it's 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 so hard mm. it, it's 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 very very hard to actually just go on about business you know without without the support you know and um the money is there you know because there are others who are actually getting it you know mm. we, we we can see other people are being funded you know um i'm bigger white owned bigger um, i'm black owned they're also being funded they, they should also come to us and sometimes we're not saying um just give us money you know maybe i am okay i don't want the money but i need the support in terms of you training me mm. you know maybe train because, my staff yeah 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 mm. you know tr train my staff maybe i am I was very good at actually studying drip, but I'm not a, 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 a very good at actually managing it. I have a product. Give me a factory. Yeah, yeah, Let me yeah, manufacture yeah. and Just employ more people. Halfway, mm, you know? Mm. Yeah, it's their responsibility. <clears throat> they have departments for that. You know, they should come on board uh, and they, they should open the doors when you go to them and knock. Uh, well, so, yeah, um, we've, we've never had anyone who's, who's trying to come to us and, and, and try to invest in our products. Uh, that's why we actually... Um, 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 you know, there's this fish in uh, Congo. Mm. That fish, it develops a, a defense mechanism because, like, um, the Congo River is very, very, very fast. Mm. So that fish, it develops a, a defense mechanism. Yeah, yeah, much. So, so that, like, um, whenever it, it swims there, like, is protected. Mm. So it develops a harder scale. So we have also developed a harder scale. You know, as, as we go as as a government, you know. Mm. So we so so we go out there with the mental to put they're not gonna come. So we've mm. developed our own uh, defense mechanism. We know what we are on our own. No one is going to come for us and, and, and rescue us, mm. you know. But like, yeah, hey, 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 if they're listening right now, they should give us calls, you mm. know, mm. because we are there. We, we are doing big things. We have our employees, you know. Sometimes we run out of cash flow, mm. you know, and, and it's very hard. This COVID as well, you guys get impacted because you're a new yeah. business, like you said earlier on. But right now, if somebody had just given you funding, how far would your business be? As new yeah. as it is, with the positive response it's getting, how far would it be? Very, very far, you know, very, mm. very far. Because um, what I'm doing right now in trying to um, 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 place it into, into into the market, I would have done it a long time ago. Mm. I'll, I'll be having a booklet right now mm. and giving it to you and say, this is what drip is. Mm. You, you, you know what I mean? Mm. I wouldn't be sitting here mm. trying to explain myself. You mm. would be seeing the booklet and say, oh, okay, so this is drip. This is, they you are. Know, this mm. is their CSIs. You know, mm. they, they're giving to this uh, um, 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 charity um, homes or whatever, you know. But we, it's it's so hard. You know, we'll, we'll be very very far. Mm. We'll be very. We'll, we'll be having stores. We'll be having um new design stars. We'll be collaborating with artists right now. Mm. You know, we have invested in lockdown house party so much money. You know, mm. of our own. We would have been doing all those sorts of things. We would have mm. been having billboards today, having adverts on mm. on on Facebook, those type of things. But um. Yeah, what can I say? Again, you know, we just have to keep on going and going, you know, with whatever that we have where we are. And, you know, it's so sad because once you grow, then they're going to come, it's going to start coming to use you yeah. now, your brand, you know, ordering some young yellow sneakers there for campaigns. And we know who, <laughs> but anyway, I see Colabo. <laughs> but that's the thing, you know, it's like they never there for us in the beginning. Yeah. As soon as they see us, you know, just trying to like, grow yeah. all, all of a sudden they want to associate themselves with you even yeah. at that not the correct way yeah. in this country i feel like you have to be corrupt yeah. to be heard or for you to actually have something or build something or even to be wealthy yeah. it doesn't look like 
our I say this all the time on the show. I said it doesn't look like our government supports entrepreneurship. Yeah. I mean, when last did you speak here? Our president speaking about entrepreneurship. He spoke about localization. Yes. Mm. In what? How? Who? Mm. You guys are a local brand. Mm. Localization speaks more to you. Yeah. But okay, what we'll do with the localization? What then? Mm. Are you saying we need to find more localization? Are we supposed to encourage more people to support local brands? What are you saying? Mm. You know, you just leave it at that. And for me, it's like they don't encourage us. And yet, when you start doing something, I've inserted with musicians during lockdown. People would call musicians. Hey, please help me with electricity. Please, we're taking on the responsibility of the government. Mm. Now, when now you are sitting here, you are starting this business. Your business is barely five years. You are already expected to have a CSI. Mm. You know, like mm. how are you going to grab your feet? How are you going to stand if mm. already now because you are, you know, selling four shoes? Mm. Now you have to give four shoes back. Yeah. It, there's a lot expected from a there's young no entrepreneur. Balance, yeah. yeah, and there's no growth because nobody's willing to attach themselves to your struggle. Mm. If we sit now and said, oh man, what are your challenges? Maybe we can spend the whole night just you labeling yeah, the challenges, yeah, yeah. which could be made easier, even if corporate, even if because we give up on government. Yeah. Even if it's corporate that can reach out and you know and attach themselves to your story. Mm. That's all it takes sometimes, you know, yeah. so that we can have drip around in the next 10 years, in the next 50 years, build a legacy brand that will sustain itself. Mm. It's through funding, it's through people reaching out and saying, We see what you're doing, we support you. Good luck. Here's a little bit of this for you mm. to just take off the weight, you know, so that you're able to function purely and clean. Yeah. But unfortunately, you have to be part of some organization and that <laughs> organize wear that red uniform or wear the yellow one. <laughs> then you know somebody's gonna say, I know he's our boy. He's, yeah, he's with yeah, us. Yeah, We've yeah. got you. What do you want? What do you want? Yeah. Then you say, Hey, fetch, we'll talk, we'll talk next week. We'll talk next week. Yeah. Look, next week comes, yeah. Calling people, they're not on their phones. <laughs> That's the story of this country. Yeah, I mean, that is the story, but um, <laughs> I'm 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 really happy that we have um the township that is actually carrying our brands today, mm, you know. Mm. Um what I have seen happen to Drip, I've never seen happen to any other brand, mm, you know. Mm. Within just a few months, we've employed so many people, you mm, know. Mm. During festive season in 2020, I saw queues, people buying the bundle of joy range for their kids for Christmas. Mm, you know, mm. it has never happened anywhere whereby a local sneaker brand is being supported and parents are buying it um, um on, on, on Christmas for their mm. kids, you know. So these are the people I, I have to acknowledge, you know, uh, black South Africans for actually coming out for us. Mm. You know, had it not been for them, this mm. picture that I'm seeing here wouldn't mm. be happening of mm. us employing young people, of us actually trading, of us actually having a brand that I can actually sit here and in Kulmenga and then represent, mm. you know. Mm. And I, I, I can see that the mindset is actually changing. Mm. Maybe one day um they'll, they'll just wake up from the coma that they're in and say, Oh, this drip. Let us actually go there and support. Yeah, from the coma. Yeah, that's what I call it as well. <laughs> you know, because because like I would, a drip drip would be very far because like the rent at these malls is not cheap. Mm. You know, mm. if they can just subsidize and say, ah, oh, okay, fine, maybe it will just um help you with fifteen percent. Mm. You know, it would go a long way. Mm. We'll be able to for us to actually employ an executive. Once our trucks, you, know? you need yeah. trucks to move your product. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we, they've we, done we, that in the past, but I, it's just when it comes to young black and you know youth entrepreneurs there's not a lot that we can see being done yeah eh? they don't trust us i don't know i don't know why they don't trust us you know mm, yeah mm, but mm. yeah it, it is what it is but big up to you because you know what i've seen your product and i'm still supposed to be supporting i need to buy a drip for everyone that i know yes i am going to do that the quality the quality that goes in that's why i want to just shout out my respect because yeah. you know sometimes when you're studying a product the reason we will like would be watching the product. We want to yeah. see how the product performs is because we're not sure about the quality because yeah. we've seen that even I think because of funding or you know other people take this entrepreneurship space for granted yeah. where somebody will just say hey, water and you can see there's no way in hell you're going to drink this water. Yeah. The quality of this water. This thing tastes like tap water. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, but with yeah. you guys, shout out man to the quality. The quality is something else. Like there's a lot of thinking and detail that goes into it. So I don't think mm. people have a choice but to support it. Yeah. Because it's not like, you know, like you say, they're attaching themselves to the story. But the quality mm. also yeah, speaks for yeah, itself. You know, it's yeah. like, hi, we're buying one pen because we feel sorry for him. No, yeah. they're actually buying something they actually want because yeah. of how it looks, how much work it's gone into it. So big yeah. up to you guys doing all of that. So you've mentioned that many people that you've employed. And that's very good, guys. Shout out to that. 70%. Can I get a horn? 70 people. Give me a horn. I have a horn. I have a horn that we need to just <laughs> <do. laughs> 
place. Yeah, yeah man. Yeah. What 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 what's that one piece of advice that you will you will you will you will advise someone that's starting? And I think oh, success was leaning towards that way when he was saying, "What advice would you give a child in Alex?" But mm. in, in general, a young person. I mean, I never want to take it to a young entrepreneur only because you know mm. our stories go back. There's a young yeah. person that's listening to you, and what advice would you give them? Because they're sitting in a place where there's no hope and you've been there before. Yeah. It's, I'm in a shack, you know, um, all odds are against me, mm. but here you are. What advice do you have for somebody like that? <sighs> Show up, you know, mm. Show up on whatever that you want to do. If you are an artist, you know, just keep on doing, um, you get to be, you get to, to get closer to perfection by doing it over and over and over and over again, mm. you know? It had me doing so many interviews for me to have the courage to say, okay, let me just sit here next to our school, you know? Mm. It, it, like, just go out there and just whatever. If you play soccer, go and stand next to soccer city when mm. Kaiser Chiefs is playing. Just get yourself closer to where you want to be, mm. you know? Mm. Keep on doing whatever that you're doing, you know? Um, had I not done this, you know, there were days whereby I didn't have money. Like I said, or on, on my students said, I actually had to do websites and everything I didn't even afford, but I had to keep on going. It, it didn't just happen uh, the following day overnight. You know, it was so many days, you know, about six months of me trying, of me being on social media, you know, mm. those, those type of things up until I actually got it right, you mm. know? So do not give up on your dreams, you know? read books uh, our problem is also is that we don't read books you know mm. i would be very stupid right now for me not to read about phil knights mm. or for me not to read about under armor mm. you know i have to study the game i have to study my industry i have to see wh wh who's doing what mm. even mm. there when we're starting at the starting phase mm. you have to understand the industry that you want to get in mm. you know and then also understand the greatness within you know because we're all great in our own ways we just have to keep on doing um what god gifted uh, us with so we can actually get closer to where we want to be mm. you know so let us just keep on going and not give up and don't forget to turn your passions into money yeah because sometimes yeah, that's yeah. all it is and in this show man you know like our, we have a big problem with our education system as yeah. well we we feel you know now Ligaukyo, he decided to go into designing and he needed all these skills he needed manufacturing yeah. he needed this he needed that where in versa versa way in our schools we taught other things Mm. We are taught, we're thinking, I can say, do you know what a locust body parts is? <laughs> like, we are told what is a worm body parts. We talk about this with Bernard all the time. Like, <laughs> we don't understand why our education system is taking us there when the world is saying there. You yeah, know what I mean? Yeah, right now, yeah. had you been equipped with the right things, the right skills up until high school, a lot of things would have, you know, saved you money because yeah. it would have been skills that you know, that you understand. Sometimes you've had to pay for advice. You have to go and mm. get that person to connect you to that person just to be able to know how does this work. Mm. But those are things that they could have just taught us in school manufacturing. Manufacturing is such an easy mm. process. It's been there since the beginning of time. Mm. But, you know, we're going to learn, we're going to learn about the infant, Rebecca. Mm. Our kids are learning about what? The world is coding. Our kids are coding. Yeah. They're not coding. Like it's yeah. so sad, you know. Yeah, so I really sad. feel like it's another discussion that we need that needs to be had. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It is, you know. Um, I sometimes walk in the mall and I and then I see bad with there and then I see a drip there, you mm. know. And and then I come to realize that um actually these are the only two black owned stores in, in the this whole mall. mall. In the whole mall. You know what I mean? Mm. And then like um, where are other black people? Mm. You know, where are they? Because we're told we would are retail now I can sell clothes, mm. you know. Mm. But <laughs> Mr. Price, to yesterday, just uh, announced that he bought a, a luxury, is it Yapi Chef or something like that? Mm. Yapi Chef, Chef. Yeah, for, for half a billion, mm. you know. That is where the money is circulating at. Someone could be teaching someone about retail in high mm. school, and so you can have a career in 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 in, in, fashion, in being a fashion buyer, mm. in being a fashion forecaster. Mm. When someone who's just who's works just to travel the world and check which it trend what yeah, are the to trends. Mm. Mm. We were not being told about that, you know. Mm. But there's someone out there who's doing it today. How are you supposed to know about something that you've never been told ab mm. about? You know, it's How a new has, concept. It's foreign. Like yeah, it's foreign. You, the only thing that you know by accountant, by police, doctor, mm. that is what you only know up until you actually 
you know I, 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 the, and i mean that is that is less, that when are you even talking about you know after metric i'm yeah. talking about you found yourself knowing that you don't have an option to study mm. afterwards mm. you either needed mm. to go to a nine to five with your metric or you needed to start a business mm. i'm talking at like you know that entry level yeah. that high school level yeah. Yeah. to There's say nothing. people used to they used to teach us woodwork yeah there was like, agriculture what happened to those things they're gone Because yeah, now oh people God. who learned about agriculture probably are farmers. You know, mm. it was taken away with the syllabus. Mm. So we we didn't get exposed to farming. So if right now I want to buy a house, I'm going to lose. If I want to buy a farm, I'm going to lose. Yeah, that is that is what Kanye West once said and said, how are you going to teach um in, in, in one school, mm. and teach 2,000 kids the same thing? Mm. What 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 type of difference are you expecting from all those 2,000 kids? You're expecting the same results. Yeah, we're seeing mm. the, the very same result. But mm. those kids are different. Mm. Some of those kids are not even, you know, uh, uh, book-wise. They're not about books. Mm. You know, but they're, they're still, yeah, yeah, they're mm. actually more creative. They're, they're mm. artists. Mm. You know, like look at Nelson Makamo. Imagine keeping a child like Nelson Makamo in class and telling him, no, that is trash. Mm. You, 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 you mm. understand? Mm. So that is what our education system is teaching us, that we are all the same. Mm. you know but we could have been you know taught differently we need we need, we need that i went to an fet college mm. I, i looked at civil engineering differently i was like i should have actually went and and done this i didn't, mm. I didn't as much as i needed that basic of having a metric but this is more me like the building you know how, how how to build a house how to build a bridge you know but that is coupled with the high school type of level of, of education you mm. can take that and also implement it into high school and say you can have the the, the basic qualification of civil engineering and discover yourself from high school mm. we do not do that you know mm. but mm. it's 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 so sad mm. Mm. it's mm. so 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 sad and and even even business you know i could have been one of the smartest business people from high school mm. you know i could have seen that from high school but mm. i had to be self taught because sometimes when you're practicing and you're fidgeting with something your mind will tell you i can do this with this yeah, thing. yeah i'm busy yeah. doing woodwork i can actually start cutting this and selling yeah, this because it's in yeah, front of you yeah, it's natural yeah. how the mind will respond yeah. and not all minds are going to respond the same and that's how you'll get business people you'll yeah. see who's an entrepreneur and who's not and you'll assist those who are already trying to get into entrepreneurship the right way advise them with the right colleges to go to mm. and like now as in you find yourself after metric It's like you are studying at grade one. Mm. You don't know where to start. It's mm. a mess. It's honestly mm. a mess. And I just want you to just speak to one child, man. You said, you know, you you failed metric, but here you are yeah. today. That child who just failed a metric, who failed his metric. What message do you have for somebody like that? Go back. Mm -hmm. You know, the best message is to go back. Never look yourself as a failure, mm -hmm. you know, because I've never looked at myself and, and, and saw a failure in a mirror. Mm -hmm. I saw someone who has just a, a, a small and a glitch that I have to fix, mm -hmm. you know, just go back and then get it right. Mm -hmm. You know, because um, I actually wanted to mention this, I, 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 I posted on LinkedIn that we're looking for a retail um, operations manager. Mm -hmm. And and I, I've been getting CVs of people who, who, who've been doing finance, who, who've been doing different things than what I'm actually uh, I'm looking for. But that is the bio. I will mm. actually go inside deeper into the CV because sometimes life it takes us to different paths. You mm. studied accounting, but you, like you've been working at Edgar's, you know, doing retail management. Mm. I, I have to hire you because mm. that you is know. what you, you, you deal you with know. clients. Mm. Yeah, you know. So 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 you failed metric, just go back to school. It is have that mm. foundation because you don't know where life can actually lead you. Mm. You know, we can say education, this, but like having that foundation actually helps in guiding you into becoming whatever that you you god has actually um placed for you mm, mm, mm. have you ever turned down a client <sighs> <laughs> i think i have i think i have, <laughs> I think I have. what was going on take us through disrespect that. Mm. yeah they were mm. they, they, they were disrespecting me mm. you know mm. they, were, they were disrespecting me and my product and i said no you don't you, you are not deserving of, of this product mm. yeah because mm. it was built on respect and so i was like nah you're mm. not getting it do you get people that come up to you and say one the same do you get that when you go to the township 
I get that even at the stores on Saturday when we were opening Spring Small, dude came to launch. me on the launch. Oh, dude came to me like in Binchy, give us like two pairs, man. Hey man, get shorter. And I was like, um, there are can they do that at Mr. Price? It is 15 people here wearing the uniform. We're mm. busy here waking with employed people. Mm. We're not about to go, you know, just mm. buy one pair at least. Yeah, so, and save for the next yeah, one. Yeah, and save mm. for the next one because now I, I have employed so many people. And now there are systems in, in the company, there are mm. finance. I don't just take sneakers and give them away, you know. Mm. I have to be account. I have to buy it myself. Mm. I, I get a salary mm. from Drip. Mm. It is not my money. So I think people still think, oh, yeah, we are still, you know, selling Kozutak. from the boot. Yeah, Kozutak. you know. Mm. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> Yeah. Ah, yeah, yeah. No, 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 no. Yo, yo, yo. Otherwise, there won't be any growth. There wouldn't be growth, hey? Yeah, no, there, there wouldn't, wouldn't be, be any growth. growth. Yeah. Your utmost challenge. <sighs> um, cash flow. This one is a challenge. This one is a challenge, guys. Yeah, if, if there's one thing that gives me um nightmares is cash flow. Mm. You know, not having enough cash flow because. Uh, um, we don't have any investors or any funders, so mm. and you, you don't take, have partners. Yeah, yeah, mm. you don't have hundred percent. So you take um the the three hundred rents, you mm. make more shoes, mm. then you are left with nothing. And then mm. there's rent, there's salaries, there's everything. Mm. Then they come, then you still have to sell them. Mm. And then by the time you start selling them, there's already a gap of it's you. It's built. Mm. Yeah, now there's too much demand. So mm. I'm always catching up with you know investing you more and too up. much demand mm. so I'm, I'm 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 always doing that but that is what built the business luckily i, I i'm the factory sometimes just makes more and say ah, okay we let's really take have it. Yeah. yeah 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 but yeah cash flow is yeah is your 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 it's, it's it's, my biggest it's, challenge it's the biggest challenge ne? yeah and how do you think you can cover that finding? um i have i have i i have a rule of going um without debt you know because mm-hmm. i don't want to attain any debt because it's scary so i think me talking to the factory and say just give me more i'd rather, I'd rather owe the factory yeah. than owe the bank because mm-hmm. if i if i owe the factory i know they won't give me more shoes mm-hmm. so i always say okay fine here's your money here's your money like right now we are we're at least balanced with in terms of cash flow mm-hmm. but i can foresee it because we're opening more shops mm-hmm. i need more shoes so i have mm-hmm. to pay more you know yeah so i think yeah talking to the factory you know and having that those contracts over and over and over so that they oh, can make so basically your hold is when you guys are far from the people that's why the pressure is for you guys to branch out yeah so you say that will be your pressure basically to say if we don't reach out to more places then it's going to be a challenge for more people especially who are not e-commerce savvy you know yeah, yeah, to get yeah, their product yeah. you know those people who don't believe on buying online yeah say your customers happy because if you, there's still that person so that's why there's a demand for shops for your kind of brand like yours yeah, yeah so how do you find those um because right now there are people who, 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 who's, who whose jobs are actually just to go out there and then make sure that this brand can be suitable for this shopping center or this mall you mm-hmm. know so what we do is you just go out there and then you just do market research into can drip work here do we have customers here like it, it made so much business sense for us to open at mall of the north it's not every Tom, Dick and Harry that can get a store mm. at Mall of the North. It's one of the biggest malls in South mm. Africa. Like, it's like Central City. Mm. Yeah, so for us getting a store there was a blessing. Mm. So like we had to get in, into that mall and then like um, it's, it's, it's our highest selling store right now. It's mm. our best performing store. So mm. what we do is we actually say, okay, if I'm in Devon right now, we don't have a presence. Mm. And then let us just go and open a store in Devon because mm. we don't have a presence because mm. we ship so many shoes that side. Yeah, so you've got a employment. clientele. Mm. Yeah, we have, we have a clientele that need presence. Mm. And uh, other people were like, to me, don't open stores. Uh, people are going online, but these guys are still building mm. malls. Who are they building these malls mm. for? You mm. know, for, 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 for themselves. Mm. No, we have to be in those malls because it's mm. still business, yeah. you know. For, for, for a guy who has 300 stores, yeah, maybe it can be bad, but mm. for a guy who has only 20 stores, can't be that bad. 20 stars, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah no, that's the goal and that's amazing. I'm just going to take another a comment on our Facebook. How far should humbleness take you when it comes to running your own business? How far? Should humbleness take you when it comes to running your own business? Yeah, um, I still call myself a, a salesman, mm, mm, mm. you know. So um, our... Our business drip is built on a thousand rents or a seven hundred rents. Mm. So I take seven hundred rents very, very serious. Mm. So each and every one who walks inside the store, 
carrying 700 because mm. this business is built on many 700s or many mm. thousands mm. so i am so humbled by everyone who buys one pair so mm. so I, I i have to be humble you know mm. people associate with me mm. i see um the downfall of so many people actually is, is arrogance mm. you know by the time they start mm. making a little bit of money start being arrogant i can't talk to so so mm. and so i can't come chill. to the shops anymore yeah mm. no you can't like, see i can't chill now. i can't chill mm. in the hood anymore always in Dubai. i'm hanging with the casper your vest of this world you, you, you know mm. what i mean mm. i don't do that mm. you know i i still hang around with my old dudes from 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 high school they're still my best friends you know because i take drip as work and then after after work i become a normal person mm. you know mm. so mm. so humbleness can take you a very long way because people do, like you like you won't have a reason to not work with me mm. you know because i'm going to give you attitude because i understand mm. this is just work mm. I, i'm at work it is yeah. i just want to take a few big outs you know people people are picking up big up big up big up it's everywhere i don't know which one to take okay so um there's a couple of big ups on our facebook and live stream big up big ups like bringing you up thank of course you, thank you, it's thank about you, you today thank loving you. the interview um i just want to take one main big up here of vuyo fanta i love a trip and follow and follow them every social media page and platform big up to you guys you really inspire most of us I re- I, we are really proud of you and another one here okay they're just showing you love they're showing you love they're showing you love Thank you guys for tuning in. Any questions, you can just drop us by because we're still chilling with Ligao. And don't forget to follow us on all social media platforms at ilovemelville.live. And um, that's Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook at ilovemelville space live to be part of our live audience. That is our YouTube channel to be part of our live stream. Thank you so much, man. Thank you so much, man. You know, you are changing. You're changing. You're changing lives. You know, you might not be giving somebody five rand, Mm -hmm. but somebody just, you know, I always tell people, attach yourself to a mentor. Mm-hmm. And let me tell you right now, what you guys are doing is literally on the platform of mentorship because people just need someone to look up to. Yeah. They need just, you know, somebody they can say, look at him. He's doing it. I can mm-hmm. do it. And that is a big, it's bigger than anything. That's why I, I always know. say, sometimes you don't need somebody to give you money. Don't ask me for money. Ask, mm-hmm. you know, ask for advice. Ask for, you know, what do I do? You know, mm-hmm. maybe it'll, it'll motivate you and it'll go a long way because whatever you do in life, wherever you find yourself in life, you'll always remember and say, but there is Ligao. Mm. And look at Ligao. He started just, you know, a boiling pop. They'll always come back to your story and they'll do even more amazing things. Yeah. And I'm sure, like, just like you said, Jay-Z and Kanye don't know what they've done. Yeah, They don't know what they've yeah. done. But yeah. that's the attachment yeah. of a story. You know, somebody just listening to somebody. We don't have to meet. Yeah. I'm just attaching myself to the movement. So big up to doing an amazing, amazing, yeah, amazing thanks job. Thanks very much. So what is your long-term plan in terms of employment? How many people is Likau trying to employ? Um, by the end of this year, at least 120. Mm. By the end of this year. Mm. How many stores mm. will that be? So far, I'm rippling it to 10. By the end of this year, store? we'll be having 20. Mm, 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 we'll be mm. having 20 stores. Mm. Yeah, and then I also bought a Legends Barber franchise. Oh, yeah, pick up on that. Boop, 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 boop. Yeah. Supporting local <laughs> business. We saw that. You yeah, see, yeah, now yeah, you're buying yeah, from yeah. another black brother who's yeah, just trying to do yeah, the same thing. Yeah. He comes back. He has to pass the yeah. yeah. Changing the narrative. That's what it's about, man. Yeah. That is exactly what it's about. And it was going, that was going to be my last question. <laughs> just like, just, I was like, I know you bought the Legends. <laughs> you stole that one but anyway man yeah so big up look out man you know we see you we see you keep 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 doing the amazing work Thanks very much. when people are doing amazing things i always say you're doing the lord's work you know yeah keep yeah, doing yeah. that keep keep pushing man because you know what we don't have stories we don't have stories you yeah. know i feel like after things happen in this country they forgot about us the youth you yeah. know it's like they close that door and i always say this on the show to say you know what it's like we don't exist yet. They talk about us being the future. Who's the future right now? Mm. Who's shining? Who's a shining example for you right now mm. in the youth? Because no one is being empowered. No one is, be, no one is being supported. No one is being seen. Mm. And everybody, so many people are trying to do so many things. It's just, you know, our government is just deciding to look the other way. And you know how the game is played, you yeah. know? Yeah. Either you're in the politics or you're just not. And you're going to just be standing on your own on the mountain. But we know somebody's going to hear you and somebody's going to come through. They're going to come through from another country and then people are going to start talking. Yeah. Say, ah, Ivana is getting funding from the states where was funding in this country when you started yeah. you know what i mean because yeah. things always ripple out like that and they play out like that but nothing man just love you know thank you so much for making the time we love what you're doing we see you guys follow you. follow follow thank if you haven't followed the drip stars follow Likao, man so that you can keep up with him to see what he's doing we're going to be taking him on all these streams after this interview and we're going to make sure that you guys you know you do you do see him and please in 
the stores are coming. Yeah. So just yeah. wherever you are, if you hear something, go and support. Right now, start saving 700 times. If you know store is coming here and your store is coming in five days, I think I saw the countdown. Uh, that was in uh, Springs. We are done now. We're yeah, actually yeah, opening yeah. in Val. The next store is in oh, Val. Val, yes. Yeah, Val, yeah, Val, yeah, Val, yeah. Yeah, yeah. The next store is in Val. We have Maponya, we have Rustenbeck, we have uh, Hemingway's in Eastern Cape. Yeah, mm. we'll, we'll just be planting the stores. Because you know he's coming. They start saving yeah. that money to support a black businessman. But more than anything, why not? You know, why not? We're going to end it on that note. Thank you so much, guys, for showing us love. It's Google Kati, hashtag After Five with Google Kati every Tuesday and Thursday, where we address the matters that matter. Hashtag the elephant in the room. Hashtag why? Youth unemployment is so high in this country, Mara. Why, 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 why? Thank you so much. But while you're waiting, what are you doing about it? Likao is that the brand is called Drip. He is doing shoes. What are you doing? Let's go. Time to talk business, new development, and current affairs. This is After Five with Cuckoo Cut. Right here on allofmarvel.live. After Five with Cuckoo Cut. That was legitimate.